Hey guys, it is Tyler here back once again with another weekly ramble video. Here we've got some Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag gameplay going pretty much as always uh, that I do with these weekly rambles up until either I don't feel like playing it anymore, I feel like putting something else, I don't know. But for the moment, this is what we're going to go with. Anyway, I wanted to talk today about a couple things and this came up, I guess we touched on it a bit on the last Kill Connor Club in episode 42 and... It came really from the multiplayer battle, Laces vs. Dynamite. The first episode was last week, and we just did episode... I mean, I'm recording this before the second episode's out public. It's on Patreon right now. But it should be public by the time this comes out. Definitely will be public by this time this comes out. Uh, and the first episode's comments and responses of people... Because most people know it's a fun joke. You know, I'm playing a bad guy character that's talking mad shit to James, and James is kind of the good guy, yada yada yada. If you've ever watched pro wrestling or UFC, like, it's kind of... It's a story, it's fake. You know, in pro wrestling, it's, it's not real. It's just, like, there's a good guy and a bad guy, and they're just fucking actors. Um, and that's what we just kind of did. We had a good laugh. That's why we did those ridiculous promos, things like that. And most people know that's a joke. Like, 99% of people know it's hilarious, and it's just a good time. But then there's, like, this vocal... A uh, group of people that don't understand and that put out really, you know, hateful or just retarded comments. And not none of them were really that bad. Like, I, well, none of them affected me literally at all. And that's kind of why I want to talk about this because it's just a topic about uh, getting comments that are people hating on you and how I've dealt with that, I guess, through all of YouTube, not just this. But then I can uh, talk about a bit more of life and how it doesn't just affect... Um, you know, YouTube, obviously, people, you deal with, um, people saying shit to you all your life and, you know, people not happy with you or being bullied. There's a, you know, wide variety of things you hear that you don't like. I mean, the first thing I want to say before I address anything is, uh, when I was a kid, my parents told me a very simple saying, it's that sticks and stones will break my bones, but names will never hurt me. And that's very true. We tell fucking kids this. But it seems in today's society, uh, adults uh, who should be teaching kids this don't know this themselves. And they get offended by just about everything. And uh, everything's offensive and words really hurt people. And words matter. Not really, to be honest. I disagree. I don't think words matter all that much. Actions matter. And this is why I want to talk about my view on getting hateful comments, on getting... Uh, people talking shit to me, or being bullied, or anything, whether it be YouTube, whether it be in real life. I don't real life, because YouTube's real, but like, in the real world, I guess you could say. Uh, and how I've always dealt with it, and how I grew um, dealing with things like that, and, and how I perceive it, I guess, because um, I don't run my life on feelings. I'm not a feelings guy. Like, I have, obviously, everyone has feelings. Obviously... I'm quite an emotional kind of guy as well, like, <clears throat> I'm a passionate person, but, you know, I don't base my ideas, my beliefs on feelings, I'm based on facts, I'm based it in reality, you know, I'm, um, but so many people base everything on how they feel and how words make them feel, and it's just not, it's just not how we should operate, uh, because it really, I don't respect it. it, it has really no merit at all, it doesn't help society or the world, it makes us a bunch of um, little pussies, to be totally real with you all, uh, if I'm going to be honest, uh, and that's how I really feel about it. So when it comes to life, and when it comes to YouTube, the day I started doing YouTube, you know, people say, you know, you're going to get hate, you know, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I've had fucking death threats a million times over doing YouTube, it just happens. People say shit to you, people um, have real long paragraphs and essays they write about why your opinion's wrong, about why your video sucks, about this and that. I've been doing YouTube for five years almost. I've seen it all in terms of hateful comments. I've seen it all in terms of nice comments, you know what I mean? Like... You take the good with the bad, but the reality is I knew going in that this is what I have to be able to face. But that's just the simple fact of life I've always known. Well, I, don't, I, don't, I haven't always known this, but I feel like I've known this for most of my life is that you're not going to please everybody. You're never going to. I've never tried to. And the, it's the joke of, you know, the, my catchphrase is, I don't care. 
And I mean, the truth is, in terms of that certain thing, I don't. I don't take things personally that that often. I don't take things personally when someone has a different opinion to me. That's freedom of speech. Everyone uh, can have different opinions. Everyone should be able to voice their different opinions. It doesn't matter what it is. As long as no one's being hurt physically and someone's doing something to someone else, if you're just voicing your opinion, that's fine. If that's to say, good job, Tyler, that video was great. That's to say, you're a fucking idiot, Tyler. This opinion sucks, your video sucks, kill yourself. You're more than welcome to. Uh, it's, it doesn't bother me. I know I'm not going to please everybody in life. I know I'm not going to please everybody. You know, you meet people every single day in life. Whether you're in a workplace or at school or at university or uh, socially. You meet different people all the time. And not everybody's going to like you because not everybody gets along, not everybody has the same personality, not everybody has the same values or ideologies or views on things. Therefore, it's not possible for you to be a person that every single person likes. It's just not going to happen. So there's no point in putting your energy in to worrying about uh, people that don't like you. It's not being like, I don't care what anyone thinks of me. I mean, I have my best friends, and I value their opinions of things I do. I value my family and my parents' opinions on things I do. They're people I value. They're people that care about me and have my best interests at heart. I don't care about somebody that doesn't like me. Because, obviously, I know I'm not a bad person. So if they don't like me, obviously, we have differing opinions on things. We share different values, or they have some misconceptions of me, and that's fine. I'm probably not going to be able to change their opinion. I have no interest in wasting my energy in trying to change an opinion of someone else that doesn't like me. Cool. I'm happy to move on with my life. That doesn't affect me at all. Neither do comments on YouTube. You are never, ever going to please everybody. And by trying to do so... You're only going to waste your own energy and be unhappy with yourself because you're only focusing on the bad things people are saying about you. And I spend almost no time worrying about what other people say about me, whether it's good or bad. The thing about myself that I'm proud of, and I, and I don't think, I don't understand as well why in this day and age it's bad to say I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of myself every day. I'm happy with the work I do in life, on YouTube, in my personal sense, in my personal growth and personal development, I'm proud of myself and the shit I've done and I, that I look forward to doing. There's nothing wrong with saying that at all. You should be proud of yourself. You should love yourself. That's what everyone should do. And I do. For me. And I value that. And I don't take that for granted that I feel that way about myself. It's a great feeling. I'm happy almost all the time. Everyone has bad days, but, you know, I'm happy with who I am. I'm going to keep growing every single day, and every single day I'm going to keep knowing myself more and more and more. But the thing is, I'm always honest with myself. There's not ever going to be a person that does like me or that doesn't like me that's going to tell me something about me that I already haven't thought myself. So I'm not going to be surprised by someone saying, Tyler, I really think you're an arrogant asshole. Okay, uh, I... It's not a shock if someone said that to me, because some people feel like that. Some people do genuinely feel that when someone is confident and is happy with who they are, is confident enough to say that I'm very proud of what I do, who I am, and that I'm happy to talk about the things I do in life, and that's confident to share that with people. Some people see that as arrogance, and maybe sometimes I am being arrogant, but I know that that can come across to people. So when someone says that to me, it's something that is intended to hurt me, but it doesn't because I, I, it's not a shock. I expect that that will happen to certain people. Most other people get, are really excited and they're also proud of me. My parents tell me they're proud of me. My friends tell me they're proud of me. Vice versa, I tell my parents I'm proud of them when they do cool shit. I tell my friends I'm proud of them. Friends and people around you, you're supposed to build them up. That's what friends do. That's what uh, your loved ones do. And not, obviously, there's lots of people out there that's not the circumstances they're in. That sucks. I, I feel so sorry for that. But uh, I think the work you should do in your personal life is to surround yourself with not just like-minded people. There should always be friends that you, you have different opinions on certain things and challenge each other and grow together, but at least value each other and love each other and care about each other and build each other up. You know, so that's what you really should be focusing on those people 
Not the people that minds you're never going to change. Not the people that tear you down with their own insecurities, really. If you're honest with yourself and you're happy with who you are, or you're honest with yourself and you're proud of yourself for this, or you're honest with yourself and you think you're good at this, and someone else says, Yo, you're not really that good, or blah, 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 blah. If you really think you are, then fuck that guy or girl. Fuck that person. Not, can't be a friend. Real quick, go on your phone right now and just delete my number because you, you don't need it anymore. That's the reality of that situation. And that just goes, I know this is a big, broad spectrum I'm talking about right now, and it's gone from just some one videos, YouTube comments of stupid people commenting hateful shit to me that doesn't affect me. But it's just brought up a bigger topic that goes from YouTube that goes to life. You know, I was bullied when I was a kid, but I never worried about what these uh, people thought of me, ever. And, you know, you know, kids are fucking cruel, it sucks, but... You know, I dealt with it and I was always happy with who I was, or at least I was always happy with who I was trying to be, always knew who I wanted to be, and I never tried to, like, pander to these guys and try to make them like me. I was like, uh, fuck those guys, and I didn't hate, well, I probably did hate them, I don't, I mean, I definitely don't hate them now at all, I thank them, they helped me grow a lot, and I think being challenged helps people grow a lot, and in society you've got... Um, the social justice warrior people telling you that words matter and you can't say this, this or that and, you know, that um, tell you words matter and, uh, oh my god, safe space trigger rooms. It's like, well, that's not how life works. Sticks and stones will break my bones, but names will never hurt me. Names will not fucking hurt you. What someone else says about you or about your social group, your political views, your culture, your race, it doesn't fucking matter what those people say. You can't get go cry about it. You, in life, you've got to be able to deal with this. You've got to know. You've got to know that every single day that there's people out there that don't agree with you, there's people out there that are not going to like you, and you have to be a strong person to deal with it. If you can't, you are not going to go far in life. You are just not going to go far in life if you cannot deal with people that disagree with you, that do not like you. Whether they're intelligent people, whether they're stupid, idiotic, bigoted people, it doesn't matter. They're entitled to say what they want, and you have to be able to deal with it. And if you are a person that is strong enough to be able to deal with it, which everyone should be, then you are going to succeed in life. You are going to be a strong individual and you're going to go far. If you're a person that wants to call the cops because my feelings are hurt, sorry, life's going to be real fucking tough for you. And I have no sympathy. So when it comes to hate comments, guys, we're all going to deal with it in life. We're all going to deal with it here on an online space, especially in the culture we're in today, where people have a screen to hide behind. So as long as we can deal with it and try to at least respect and find the people we value and that value us also, then we're going to be fine and you're going to be happy. I'm feeling very happy with who I am. And when I see people, I'm not going to react to someone that talks shit about me on Twitter, which has happened. It's happened recently. Uh, someone like James and Ethan got upset about it. And they said things on YouTube, or not on YouTube, on Twitter about it. And that's up to them. I don't agree with responding to people that don't like me, like they do. Um, so I just blocked them, and that was it. I never responded, didn't engage them at all, because I'm never. there's nothing I can say that's going to change their mind or I'm going to win, ever. So I just blocked them. I don't need to see anything they do. I don't want them to see anything I do. And if they're going to create another account just so they can see shit I do, wow, they care way too much about me. Obviously, they've got an issue. Not me. I don't have an issue with them. Uh, but I don't want you involved in my life because you're not a person I want around, but you can keep being you. Go for it. Uh, I don't need to react to assholes. Sometimes I do. We all have flaws. We all have bad moments. I'm not fucking perfect at all. I don't claim to be. I make mistakes all the time. But <clears throat> as long as we can all try our best, I'm going to keep surrounding myself with people that value me and the people I value that can help me out and I can help them out and I can um, continue to grow as a person each and every day and we all should as well. Be strong, people. Be strong. So I hope, I don't know if this was valuable at all, but these weekly rambles are just kind of things I, I like. Uh, talking about and that are relevant to me at the moment. Um, I know we seem to talk a bit political and social justice warrior shit all the time, especially on Kill Connor Club, but it's relevant and there's more I can and will say over time. Um, but anyway, that's this video, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Hope it maybe it was valuable at all. If you liked it, please be sure to like it, comment, let me know. If you didn't, well, that's okay too. We can all have different opinions and values and beliefs. That's fine. So guys, anyway, thank you again for watching. Really, really do appreciate it. And I'll see you next time.